Guyana and the United States of America have had diplomatic and cordial relations as far back as 1964. The relationship sees both countries sharing information and resources in the areas of health, education, security, the environment, tourism, and more. For decades, the United States of America has made and continues to make persons list of must-see countries. Stay tuned as I share with you how simple it is to apply for a non-immigrant visa to the United States of America. In just a few minutes, we will learn how to apply for a non-immigrant visa, also known as a visitor's visa. There is no need to ever pay anyone to prepare your application. The application is available online and applying online is quick and easy. Completing the application yourself saves money and ensures your information is accurate. After completing and submitting your online application, the next step is to pay the application fee. The fee for a tourist or holiday visa is 32320 Guyana dollars. The fee can only be paid at any of the two Bank of Baroda locations. After paying the application fee at Bank of Baroda, you will be given a receipt. You can finalize your appointment date by going online two days after paying the application fee. Now that was easy. Now that you know the date for your interview, let us prepare. The staff of the U.S. Embassy Georgetown want you to have an easy and comfortable experience at their office, so dress simple and comfortably. All you will need is your passport, a printed copy of your appointment confirmation, and one 2-inch by 2-inch photo of yourself. Arrive within no more than 5 minutes before your scheduled appointment time. Join the line of applicants on Duke Street, Kingston under the awning, and while in the line, have your documents in hand to present to the attendant. To ensure a smooth flow of the process of gaining entry into the embassy, do note the following prohibited items. Electronic items as such as cell phones, cameras, audio and video players, laptops, pagers, MP3 players and portable gaming devices, weapons, lighters, sealed envelopes and large bags. Additionally, items that require storage will not be allowed, nor will you be allowed in with obtrusive jewelry, food or beverages. The embassy does not provide storage for personal items and does not take responsibility for any items you choose to leave with other individuals. On your interview day, there will be friendly attendants available to direct you and answer any questions you may have. Now that you've gained entry into the U.S. Embassy Georgetown, be seated with your passport in hand and await further instructions for the intake process. When called in, do not present any documents unless requested by the officer. For the fingerprint process, you will be instructed to first place four fingers of your left hand, then four fingers of your right hand, followed by both thumbs on the machine. At this point, you will be signaled to be seated again. Relax and await your turn to meet with a consular officer. Officers have limited time to speak with each applicant, so have your passport in hand and present it when motioned to the officer conducting your interview. What will the consular officer ask? It varies. Questions may focus on your job, education, family situation, residence, travel history, obligations, or lifestyle. Answer all questions to the point and truthfully. Providing false information on a visa application is a criminal offense that could result in arrest, prosecution, and a lifetime ban on travel to the United States. If you are refused a visa, you will be given a written explanation. If your visa is approved, the officer will keep your passport and tell you when you can pick up your passport with the visa inside. Well, it's been our pleasure to welcome you here to the U.S. Embassy's Consular Section. We hope the video that you've seen helps to demystify some of the procedures that surround our non-immigrant visa process. It's the objective of the United States to facilitate all legitimate travel to our country, whether that's for tourism, business, or education. All of these have direct benefits, not just for 
Guyana, but also for the United States of America. So we strongly encourage legitimate travelers to come, apply for non-immigrant visas, and take advantage of the tremendous educational, business, and tourism opportunities that the United States of America has to offer. We welcome all of you here. We hope that many of you will choose to come, go through the process, and go on to experience the wonders that the United States of America has to offer. Thank you very much. And there you have it. Five straightforward steps to apply for a U.S. non-immigrant visa. The world is yours to explore and it is time for a vacation. Remember, applying for a non-immigrant visa to the United States is simple. There is no need to pay anyone to fill your visa application form.